Hey, this is Paul Payton with Focal Splash, and I've been asked to remove the uh, line here that cuts through both of these little girls' faces and maybe that fish, and uh, just wanted to see if I could do it, and if I can, show you how I did it. So, uh, first thing I would do is zoom in a little bit, and I'll start. Uh, I'll start down here. So, just uh, I press Z, hold it down, and move the mouse to the side, and it zooms. And I look down here, and I think I'm going to go with the clone stamp tool at first and see how we do with that. So pressing S for the stamp tool, a clone stamp, and holding Alt right here. I think I'm going to copy from right here and just uh, basically the, the idea here is going to be just to remove the vertical lines and, the, you know, um, you'll see what as I mean. Uh, you can just put something here. To replace that vertical line and who knows what a fish looks like really <laughs> right that looks like a fish to me right and from up here all right so at this point I think we got the fish something like that you can't see the line anymore so that's good through her there's, you can't really see the line right here but I don't, don't really like that so how about that and her mouth, which we'll is make the clone stamp tool a little smaller and stamp from right here and see. I'm going to hit aligned off and that way it's not going to start clone stamping her tooth as I move around. All right, just like that, make it look like it's her mouth. So your tooth is a little difficult, but if I clone stamp from right here, I can create a line for her tooth there, and that should be enough. And then clone stamp from down in this area. Replace part of her lip. We're doing pretty good. I'm not sure what the, oops. This part on her face, I'm going to use the um, hit J to use the healing brush instead of the clone stamp. And I'm just going to grab this spot right here, actually. It looks like about the texture that I'm looking for. And something like that. And underneath here, I want to put a little bit of shadow. I go back to the clone stamp tool, put a little bit of shadow under her nose right there, and then with the healing brush, mix that shadow in a bit. See, you can use both tools. It's probably a nice uh, Cupid's bow right there. Remember, we're looking in pretty tight on these pixels. Um, so the picture, when you look at it blown up again, you know, you don't really see that much detail. So the detail is basically kind of whatever detail you want to put in it. So go back to the over the healing brush here. Just give her a little bit of eyebrow. This is kind of difficult. Uh, find a color that we want here, I think right here. And with the healing brush, it's not going to paint a lot of the color, just the texture. So I like that. I think that's good. I will leave. I'll cut healing brush from here and paint over this just we're just actually going to smooth this out and try and basically leave the same color or lighten it a little bit all right and right here we're going to use the clone stamp tool just back and forth with the each for the clone stamp tool copies the pixels exactly as they are so i'm getting the edge here and copying them like that and then the healing brush copies the texture and some of the color, but uh, not much of the color. So if I get to the healing brush here, start painting, you know, we can get some of that texture from her hair and some of the color. But the clone stamp tool will copy the exact pixels. You got to remember that they you know, that what it's copying. So I like to color, copy the exact pixels sometimes and then go back to the healing brush and blur that in, you know, merge them together. Like this line here, I'm not that happy with. So with the healing brush, just go over it a little bit. I think that looks good. Now, since this isn't a face, this is a lot easier. You know, we just grab that and copy that and grab here, grab this. Grab this, grab this edge here, 
the healing brush recognizes edges, so you do have to be careful for them. And drag down. I can still see something here, so I'm going to go back in here and get rid of that. Really, you want to remove any continuation of line just when you're dealing with something like this. You know, because re there's really not a lot of detail there, but you don't want a line to be going, you know, straight down. or they, You'll see that. Your eye will catch that. So go into the clone stamp tool, and I'm going to put 50% clone stamp. Grab here, and just clone stamp that in. That'll break that line up. There's still something here I can see. Just break that line up. That looks like it's part of her jacket now. Up here, we have a really bright spot. I'm just going to use the healing brush and grab that and see if we can't just take that away. That looks good to me. I'm going to leave that right there. But here, I'm going to try to fix this JPEG artifact here because it's kind of dark there. A little brightness on the nose, the bridge in the nose is normal and nice. And take care of this on the lips you can copy like I said the edges with the healing brush it recognizes that there's something more you're trying to copy than just the texture I think that looks really good I'm just grabbing from here and painting over here or grabbing from here let's grab this line right here and paint like that all right I can still see something so I'm gonna keep working on it Try to get all right. I'm liking that. Something like that. Like I'm saying that the detail isn't that great. She's still recognizable as who she is. Right from this line here. Just go across like that. And I'm gonna grab from right here and go up. Just go up, up, up. I'll fix that in a second. So I'm going to fix that by grabbing here. I don't think I want the texture that I painted in there. That looks good. Grab this spot right here. Go across this way. Now I'm going to go to the clone stamp tool because I just want the same pixels at 100%. And just copy up those pixels and then we'll use the healing brush over it. Let's align the clone stamp tool again. Let's show you what a line does. It keeps, now I pick it up and I put it down again. It stays aligned over here, which is what we want for now. And then grab this edge here and paint it right there. Oh, didn't work. Grab this edge here, paint a little higher, something like that. I'm going to get rid of this blue line too. Oh, that didn't work. I'm going to grab from right here and paint over this way. Grab from right here and paint this way. And now with the healing brush, I'm just going to get rid of that and get rid of this line I painted in accidentally. Just get rid of this line too. Something like that. I right, zoom out and see what we got. Alright, I like it. She's fine. She's got a little spot on her nose I want to fix. But uh, other than that, I think the line is gone. And on her nose, I'm going to grab the uh, clone stamp from there and just stamp it. Same pixels as her cheek. And then I'm going to hit the healing brush and do about the same thing just to blur it in a little bit. That did not work. So I hit Control Z. And try it again. I think that's going to work. I want the this spot right here to be a little darker. So I'm going to use the clone stamp tool and copy the pixels right there. I think I like that. All right. And there you have it. Took a little longer than I expected. But uh, I think that's a really good job. We have, uh, um, I can't show you the before and after because I didn't do it on a new layer. Normally I'd pop it up on a new layer and do it, and that way you can see the before and after. But let's just see the, uh, go to history here. See if I can go all the way to the beginning. 
and just show you the before real quick. There's the before and there's after. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I had fun doing it and I think it's uh, I think it looks good. Um, thanks. This is Paul Payton with Focal Splash. You can uh, find me at Focal Splash Education on Facebook or just Focal Splash is my page. Uh, thank you very much.